We're gonna go historical bar. Ah, uh, here we go again. Oh, you can build these factories in this? Okay, we gotta start building shit though. I will start RPing in a second. I just wanna set up the nation first. I think we can send five volunteers, but we'll keep seven of them. I think I'll only be able to send five to the Spanish Little War. There we go. We're gonna go for PP gain. We are gonna go normal Russia, so to speak, right? I wanna rush getting rid of that purge. I will start talking to Japan. Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Hirohito. Where does the country of Japan lean? So you're aggressive. Well, not aggressive, we're protecting the Chinese people from themselves. I cannot support a war against the Chinese. Let's say there will be a that communism will grow a lot in Asia if you just like communist basically. Okay. Well nice talking to you for now. I'll be uh I'll be in touch. Man, I need to talk to Spain. Where is Spain? <laughs> How do I get rid of this? Poor railway networks. Mobilization speed factory infra railway. Modify poor railway network with a bunch of positives, and then this one also does it a bunch of positives. Where, 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 where is Spain? Hello, Spain? Hello? So, uh, Mr. Manuel, we hear there is uh, internal trouble? Very big tension between the political leadership and the military. In the event that there should be a uh, big collapse of the government, which side would you support? Let's just uh, say that... Uh leadership is mm -hmm. trying to take over the country which are generally more leftist would you support the leftists the military will strongly oppose any kind of leftist influence that is good to know well thank you very much for this conversation good sir all right spain's not going communists in other words uh now the political paranoia has started and we're gonna try to get rid of that all right we'll talk to france real quick Hello, Monsieur. Uh, hello. Why do you come here, Mr... What sides do the current government support? The current government has been forced by its hand to support a rise in a right-wing party, however. A right-wing party? Well, uh, do keep me updated. Thank you very much. There we go. That is the Spanish Civil War. And he picked the wrong side, boys. He picked the wrong side. Okay, we can send seven volunteers. We will also send air volunteers. He won't have Germany on his side either, actually. Oh, we have our volunteers here now? Let's go. <clears throat> this is a member of the Portuguese Communist Party. And... Oh, I like the sound of that. Keep going. Uh, we're planning a overthrow of a government and our support of our anti-fascist brothers uh, in Iberia. So we were wondering if you would give us material support uh, in exchange. Obviously, I would support that. Yes. Yes. Soon we will um, stage our revolution. It's almost complete. We'll see you when the day arrives. Um, Thank you very much. Three. Make six PP per day almost. Jesus. Ah, really? Did I already get encircled? Yeah, I did. All right. Oh yeah, we gotta motorize the supply. Wait, what? We have a puppet? I will not complain. I don't know why I have a puppet. The, uh, the revolution has begun and we are going to war with them. I will send a small volunteer force. How many could I send? Four. Then it is four. There's a lot of micro to do right now, so I can't RP, but... There we go. I have four units in Portugal. Wait, wow. Portugal? You're in the civil war? It's a joint civil war? Yeah, that's what um, it does. And we can actually encircle him. Also, since I'm in the Civil War, I can just, like, snake through a Spanish territory. Uh, that Spanish is good, territory. yeah, yeah. We can cut off the yeah. Japanese. What? All my volunteers are gone? Uh, oh, God, the anarchists just uprised. Uh, where are the anarchists? There are two communist... No, there's democratic Spain. Okay, oh, well, I gotta resend my... I they were there. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what the fuck this is. This, is. this is very weird. Okay, yeah. um, let's just try and take out the nationalists, then we can do everything else. Yeah. Um, Ooh, they just captured Madrid. The commies? Yeah. Okay, now I can go up and kill Japan, I guess. Yeah. Japan is leaving through the port. Yeah, he just left. And there oh, is gosh. the Carlists. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, snake the north. Snake the north. We'll get him. Yeah, take uh, Bilbao. We just have to focus on the fascists, and uh, then all should be fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have stats up there. I actually have stats in the north. If we can 
keep them out of here now. Okay, we got Bilbao. It's over for National of Spain. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm trying to go towards uh, Burgos. Oh, we need to take a uh, Valdeloid. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names. Valdeloid. It's not <laughs> like Brad Pitt in Inglorious Bastards. Trying to pronounce Italian. Gorlami. 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 Gosh, they're last standing on their capital. Okay, so we try to get rid of... Um, Carlists there. Yeah, Carlists first. I don't know. The fascists in the East seem like they want to fight, dude. I'm not going to lie. So I need to talk to the UK also. Hi, Mr. Neville. How are you today? I'm very good. I just got back from my campaign, and it was a very good campaign. Campaigning in the country then, I guess, yeah? Yes, I went to Japan as well and got uh, free noodles. You like the Japanese, huh? Yeah, they're very compassionate and gave me lots of uh, free uh, stuff as well as noodles. Gotta be careful with those uh, Japanese, you know? But what uh, what were you interested in talking about, uh, Mr. Uh, Stalin? Well, I haven't really heard with the UK government were kind of leans as of right now. I'm a dem democratic leader, but I have seen uh, uprisings both in communism and fascism. At the moment it's contained and the Democrats are still the majority in power. That's good to know. Thank you very much for now. Thank you. So we gotta kill off the Carlist. I think just taking Zaragoza and Casp will be enough. Then we'll kill this off quickly with the Spanish. There we go. Now we have stats in here. Oh, there we go. Come on. Yes. Okay. The Republicans will be dead soon. Sukov? Okay, fuck it. Sukov's gone. Oh gosh, he just purged Zukov? Uh. Hell yeah. He w he's on vacation. Okay, we got a snake and kill off the... Uh, Republicans here should be over any second now. Okay, I think they can finish the Civil War on their own now. So my subject is just Latvia, integrated puppets, okay. There we go! Uh, can you unify Iberia now? Yeah, yeah, I can take the focus. Just uh, in a couple days I'll be done with Lusa Tropicalism and then I'll uh, do that. Oh yeah, like I have two volunteers in the no. clique. Oh shoot, it seems like the um, United States is going fascist. Kami China has been capped, alright. China? Like the Republic of China? I do kind of support them more than the fascists. Oh shoot, Japan's justifying on China. It's gonna go into war, and I'm gonna support China. Alright, so you will annex Spanish commune then? Oh, fascist UK. Wait, oh, the fascist no. UK owns one state. He's gonna lose it. We're gonna have an AI UK. What? I will support the... Democratic UK. Uh, Iberian Socialist Union gets cores on Iberia. So I have cores on Iberia, but I don't get Iberia. Just I might fine. be able to prevent the UK. Then we're just gonna have AI UK. That's gonna be like. Insane. Well, better than a fascist UK. Let's put a like. Okay. Roleplay wise, I wouldn't want to have a fascist UK. That it that makes zero sense. The enemy of my yeah. enemy is my friend is a thing that has been used all the through history. And I'm winning the. Uh, Xinjiang clique, their civil war <laughs> against Dunganistan. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> and there we go. I, I won them the uh, civil war. The Xinjiang clique. Let's go. Republic of China joined the German Empire. <laughs> oh, mega rule. So there is. What? Is this allowed in the rule set? Like, don't they have way too many points? They have Austria Hungary, also Germany, and China in the same faction? China is now a B-rank nation because they have conquered two nations and that's not allowed until 1940. Oh my so God. the host is breaking the rules right now. This uh, is <laughs> I'm gonna go and tell them. Just like yeah. a thing, you guys are exceeding the faction point limits. That's you have, yeah, if, if China conquers two puppets or whatever, yeah, two we, warlords. Yeah, we will fix it, we will fix it. We will fix yeah, it. I'm just saying, there's a democratic and there's a non-aligned Norway civil war, okay. Then... Wait, but uh, Argentina's here. Let's uh, talk with them. Hello. We are the nation of Argentina who just liberated the people from fascism. Fascism yeah. in South America is a big no-no. Also, here. the American government seems to be uh, switching, so to speak. That's why uh, we would support your... Uh, we would support, yeah, South influencing America. in South America. Exactly. Great. Hearing that I have the support from you, Mr. Stalin, is all I wanted to know. Now, uh, Poland has taken over Lithuania, which is kind of sad. I'm a bit late on the ball here. Wait, dude! France just got... Yeah, Catalonia I'll... from Iberia. Mm, okay, this but... this will not be taken lightly once I take uh, Spain. We're gonna be sending volunteers to China, though. 
I will I will have to talk to China. Hi, Mr. Chiang Kai shek. I would like to speak with you in private. Of course, of course, of course. After this conflict, the Soviets would like to have some demands. What would those demands be? Uh South Sakhalin. For it is rightfully Russian. If we get in possession of South Sakhalin, we will of course give it back to the Russians mm -hmm. as a thank you for the volunteers. That, there's no discussion here, of course. Yeah, but uh, South Sakhalin and maybe installing a communist government in Korea. I mean, uh, uh, Korea, we will have to see about Korea, but South Sakhalin is definitely Russian. If we get in possession of South Sakhalin, we will give it to you. So, yeah, thank you very much and have a good day. Yeah, thank you. So, Japan will be out of the picture in a second. Uh, I think I gave you an event. Yes, yes, you did. Yes. Oh yeah, we have basically liberated Korea now. In a second. I wonder what's gonna happen with like Napoleon and the Central Powers. Yeah, I mean it's Napoleon, Central Powers. There's a lot of non-aligned people, and then there's us. We're gonna have to take out the monarchies. There's a new Japan player. Do you want to tell him all of his units are encircled in Asia? <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for him. Hey, what the fuck? Japan landed behind China in the north also? What? How did China let this happen? One division purports. It's literally enough in vanilla. Oh no. Oh no no no. Dude, they're justifying- so France is justifying on who? You or- uh, No, on, on Spain, which means I can't get my course. I need to talk with them. Dude, is China gonna die here? Kinda looks like it. Could happen. I'm gonna pull my units up to the north. So China got peace now, or what? Yeah, apparently. Okay, so China was white peace. Okay, guys, I made a deal with uh, France. Basically, not aggression pact. I pay them uh, three civs, and uh, then they take um, Navarra, Western Aragon, Eastern Aragon, and Valencia, and I take the rest. Xinjiang clique is not war with China. I need to talk to China. All right, so I see a war that has to be been declared on uh, our very faithful ally over in uh, Asia. Oh, I see. It's uh, Zhang Ziklik, yes. Do yes. Want, do you want... Um, the thing is, Zhang Ziklik is uh, very Chinese and was Chinese and is a Wuk Weigui state. Right, so could we come to some sort of a compromise? Territorial-wise. A split um, could, of the nation? Uh, we could give you um, the Zungaria and Yarkand. Yeah, the yeah, border, yeah, so. yeah. I believe that's fine. I will, I will agree, yeah. Excellent, thank you. I, I have no clue where the uh, Norway player is, but um, I guess, yeah. All right, I will start justifying on Finland. UK is fully democratic. How is fascist America in the faction with the like democratic UK? Why is there RP here? I think the UK is kind of salty. I'm not sure though. <laughs> I'm gonna start spamming a lot of units now. How are you gonna split up uh, Finland with Norway? Uh, the plan was south north. He gets the north, I get the south ish. This Norway have the war goal? Alright. Hello? Is that one? Hello? Hmm. Hi. Alright. So these three. Can he just click done? I'm obviously gonna be the quicker one. Can you just click down, Alta? <laughs> what? What? Hello? No, no, no. No, no, no. This was not the deal, no? But I guess it's more realistic. Yeah. Yeah. And there goes Romania. Wait, I want to go and talk to Germany real quick. Bear back. What is this aggressions into the Balkans here? They have lied. They promised us all of Transylvania for peace, but they did not give it all. They lied and did a malfunctionist deal, my friend, and a maleficent deal, my friend, and it was unacceptable. Oh, let, me, let me explain this in a more civil way. Yeah, please. The Balkans didn't respect the treaty we made prior. This is the Casus Bella. Now that the question of Romania has come up, right, the Soviets would like to chip in. What would you be willing to uh, give us? What would you like? How about this, my friend? The Soviets have a uh, decent tanks, my friend. So the Soviets have decent tanks. Well, for in transference of Bessarabia and in non-aggression pact, sell the Austrians Soviet tanks. And the, the license. I have a proposal for the Poland slash the Eastern situation. You are not we split the East Poland. from the West. You are not getting anything off Poland. No? There will be no tanks for the monarchists unless uh, Lithuania 
It's a part of the deal. Well, then that will be Lopez Arabia for the Cardinals. Then so be it. Okay, here goes Poland. Oh, the Polish Republic. We would be able to see the lands of the East. Japan is conquering a shit ton of stuff, but they're very far away from their mainland. Being dangerously close to my borders now. And China is in a faction with Germany, so. Uh, whom are you justifying against? Against uh, Poland, Poland, which is AI. Okay. China entered RBC. Oh. Hello, 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 uh, Mr. Stalin. We want to talk with you about um, the um, former Imperial Japanese, uh, uh, former Imperial Chinese territories. We would like to repurchase those. Uh huh. Why is that? See, our people are very nationalistic and want to um, renew the century of humiliation. And we would like to buy um, the, th uh, the five states and the six states in the Far East, Mongolia, Tanatuva, and the two, ta two, two states in Xinjiang. We will offer you 15 civilian factories for that. I would like more than that, not factory wise, but I would like what? a. 100% guarantee that there will be no aggression from China's part against Russia. And there's a further condition that China leaves the German uh, diplomacy behind. Uh, we are not, we do not, we have friendly relations with Germany, but we do not have any binding uh, treaties or stimulations with them. Yeah, and I think we are also right. not planning on joining the faction. Well, then we can very much have a deal. I will have to see how many factories are in there, and I'm fine with a factory back for every factory that you take. That is a very good deal, because I'm giving yes, up land yes, and factories. Yes, of course, of course. But it's mostly for the good relations between China and the Soviets. We, we fully see that and we will accept it. Yeah, thank you very much and have a good day. Yeah, you too. Have a great day, sir. Have a good day. Oh, also, uh, make sure to uh, use that war goal. On Poland? Poland? Yeah, 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 well. I've been invited to London by the US, so I'm gonna have to talk to him for a bit. Hello! We have seen near multiple acts of aggression in Europe, and we were wondering where you're going with this. Trying to stabilize the East. Stabilize it. Look at what the Central Powers are doing. Yeah, they're uniting Europe. They're uniting Europe, and you have no problem with that. Well, we, we're asking, is there a limit to your aggression? They're, 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 we, we seek no war in Europe, really. We are simply uh, reorganizing. Currently taking over the Polish Republic. Not taking over, we're freeing the eastern parts, which we should have owned since the start. The Polish buffer state will be uh, remaining neutral, though. That's, that's at least a step in the right direction. We seek no aggression. Good luck when you're turning back. Thank you. All right, I have to focus here. There's stuff I'm forgetting. I don't even remember what I'm forgetting and it's that bad. I want you to prepare for a possible war with the French along with the fortifying Iberia. Yeah, I'm um, I'm conscripting a lot of units. I like that I have a buffer state of Norway. So in case war with the central powers, it's just normal barb front. One I'm looking at the faction map here. mode right now. It's kind of scuffed. I have 140% efficiency cap. What the fuck? Soviet Union is strong. And I'm about to get 150%. Peace Treaty of Sofia. So Turkey lost some land, yet again. Turkey's role-playing IRL Turkey here. Turkey! He's the ma- You are Malaka! Malaka, whoa, 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 whoa! I have accepted Norway into our faction. We have had good relations with them all game. We'll see how the others react to that, but... Building up supply for... Any future conflicts? I have over 10,000 fighters now, 13,000. Turkey has been capitulated. Yeah, now we're gonna have to go and talk Empire. to Japan. Hello? Russia would like to be a part of this peace deal. Why? Hello? What do you mean why? It's bordering nation. The Soviets would like two or three states in the north and a docking access to the Bulgarian Empire, which now controls the strait for its navy of the... Uh, Black Sea. No mm-hmm. I'll give you like a trap zone, Samsung, Castamonu, and this meat. Is that good? That sounds good, yes. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciated. I'm insanely good at deals. You like the Donald Trump of uh, this universe? Yes, yes indeed. President Trump, please save us. <laughs> I'm moving four thousand air to Iberia, along with the four hundred casts. We'll have to build up the airports in Iberia for me to be able to use this there. 
I'm building 50 fighters a day? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, seeing the recent genocides? Hmm? Ger Jeremy just said we've been genociding. Wait, Jeremy's saying we're genociding? What? I don't know where the central powers will be going with this. Japan is in Bulgaria's Part of faction. Bulgaria's faction. <laughs> okay. And France joined the central powers. Are they not <laughs> exceeding the limit? <laughs> Have you built up airports? You've yeah, built up build two of them, yeah. Like, I I cannot fit a lot of air in there. Max out all your airports, essentially. I can fill them. <gasps> Sweden is not a player anymore. That's why they could get a... Uh-huh. Should we invade Sweden? Well, it's in the central powers, but... No, it's not. It's not? It says no faction. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 then yes. Let's invade! Oh, dude, then then if we go to war with the Central Powers, we can invade through Denmark, right into the heartland of Germany. Yeah, it's uh, Norway's time to reclaim Scandinavia. Germany's currently Then it's war. Okay, it seems that France is also beginning to uh, militarize the border. I don't know, I'm just gonna overbuild the railway network. Really don't give a shit. The Axis has a huge... I mean, Central Powers, whatever. Has a huge eco. Right, I have yeah. 10,000 fighter stockpile, what the fuck? Okay, I built up a lot of airports in Norway. I have 34 really OP tanks. 73 mediums per day. Uh, there we go. Okay, finally, let's go, let's go. I'm in the war, yeah. They're having a lot of forts in Sweden. There we go. We're at war with Sweden. I mean, the. Uh... We're at war with Germany? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll join the war. <laughs>
Oh wait, France is almost dead. 99%. What the fuck? Why is UK inside of France right now? What is this? They're not even in the same faction. I'm about to cap France. They're giving away land in Iberia. What is this? They're yeah, giving yeah, away yeah. land. Dude, what is this frontline giving away land so they can move units to the front lines? What is this? And now he's landing in Italy again. What is this? How do I always get shit and there's people like this in the games that go unpunished? This man is breaking every rule he can. Bro, SJ, you have to do your job. Come on, bro. I am not even in the game. The fucking host is breaking the rules. And <laughs> Are they getting a shit ton of troops into Poland? This is bullshit. He's doing the NZ of uh, rule breaking. How to, like, survive longer. Ah, yeah, Poland join. This is troll factor 100. Hey, this fucking border cancer is... They're funneling the troops into fucking Poland. There we go, UK's encircled. Well, how do we cap Germany if we can't cap Germany? Oh, Germany's actually about to cap. There we go. <laughs> I'm so brain dead right now, man. Soon it's over. This card's about to cap. Unless he cored some bullshit states all over the place. I think he's coring Central America. Wait, really? He cored Mexico, he cored Mexico. What the fuck? Oh, guess what? His capital's not even in Austria anymore. All these units will die. Uh, how long? Uh, dude, did he really just get... Yeah, we're never gonna cap him. He got way too much territories. PRP ended years ago. <laughs> yeah, your RP ended long ago, dude. Oh. Do you have the decision to, like, reintegrate me into Spain? I'm gonna kick them out of Iberia. <laughs> the UK's not left, but I am conquering all of it, so... They have cored Spain? No, I can't. You can literally click on it. I don't have... Oh, yeah. But South America, though. <laughs> yeah, literally IRL retreating to Argentina, like. Yeah, uh, real, real retreat okay. to Argentina. Dude, dude, I, got, I, got, uh, I got the army. I got... <laughs> and yes, once Spain is completely liberated, I will uh, alt F4. All right, there we go. Spain liberated completely, and boom. I'm super brain dead now, chat. I'm super, super brain dead. Uh, hey, you. You like the video? Subscribe and watch these videos.